Yo, Mattel's apprentice, and I got your uncle, his a local apprentice. Hey guys, it's me, Fiona, and welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know if all y'all heard the news, but there's been rumors of a Hamilton movie spreading around. Months, years, there's been those rumors. And just today, Hamilton posted on their Instagram, July 13th or 3rd, I remember there's a 3, I can't remember the exact date. Sorry, shame on me. They're releasing a Broadway recording of the musical. And okay, none of you know this, maybe some of you do. Hamilton is my all time favorite musical. It's what got me back into musicals. I used to hate musical theater because I grew up doing it and I started hating it. But then I heard Hamilton and it changed my life. And I love the message behind it that America is built on all of us, all one big country of so many minorities and ethnicity groups. And that's what makes America. And I think that's what this musical represents. And I think that's a beautiful message to send to everyone and anyone. So I love this musical. I'm actually really happy with how this came out, drawing a freaking Hamilton on my head. If you want to see how I got this eye, you can check it out on my TikTok. I'll link it right here. Um, I'm just like trying to like get into more makeup to post and yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So first we're going to start off by going in with our, um, dip brow Anastasia and I'm using an angled brush just to fill in our eyebrow. Using our Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade 4455 Tan Deep Sand. We're going to cut out the brow. Taking our beauty blender, we're gonna just blend that into our skin. Taking a Javias Place powder, it's um yellow Kalahari. I think that's how you say it. They have like two shades, so I have the yellow one because I have yellow undertones. I'm gonna set that off. Some, you know, just some average joke to take. We're gonna put that on our outer corner. Going in using a flushy, fluffy brush, I'm taking a yellow and green and mixing that together and putting it in my crease. Now I'm going in with our darker mustard and just going into the crease a bit more with it. I'm using a Lancome palette and I'm going in with this brown and I'm just taking a different fluffy brush and putting that on my outer corner. Now taking my Too Faced palette, I'm going in with Cherry Cordial in a pencil brush on the very outer corner just to darken it even more. I'm taking an It Cosmetics Goodbye Concealer. This is medium, it's very much lighter, so I love to use this to cut out my crease. Now I'm going back over with the mustard color right over what we cut out. And then in the more inner corner, I'm going in with a lighter yellow. the same flat brush we used from before. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance and I'm going in with Vermeer, very shiny. I love applying that over my yellows. Now I'm going in with Primavera, a more golden tone, and I'm going over the center part of the cutout. I'm gonna go over my brow with what's left on the brush. And then I'm taking the second fluffy brush we used today to add the browns and dark grays and just blending that, buffing that, whatever's left over. So in the inner inner corner, we're gonna go in with even more bright yellow. So for the next part, we're going to be drawing a star into our inner corner. So I saw it on TikTok, a girl, she did a heart in her inner corner. I don't know the name of her, but I'll put her name here because that's what inspired the eye, the heart, and um, the star. So we're gonna, over here, I have a picture of like the actual star like this. So I'm gonna try to copy that in the inner corner. I realized that it wasn't recording when we drew the inner corner star or the big star. So how I drew the inner corner is I just based it off the TikTok. So if you guys wanna see that, 
one um i highly recommend looking at it and i kind of just the last arm is where my inner corner is so i just drew spikes all around it so i just drew on a star here i don't know if it got the part but what i did is i drew a triangle right here and then from the triangle i did a straight line and then i made that into one big upside down triangle and from where the point is right here, I drew another line out and connected it to the line up here. So then we ended up getting a star and it has like more proportional because shapes because I'm not good at drawing stars. And then taking our same L'Oreal palette from earlier, we're gonna go in with this black and go over all the gel. Now going in with the concealer from before the IT Cosmetics, I'm going to just go over all these lines. And then I'm outlining it all with our black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna shade around the star using our yellow. Okay, I was debating this, but we're taking a risk. We are going to write Hamilton on our eyelid. I just feel like it's so plain and we need something there. First, we're gonna add a wing though. And connect it to the end of the first star we have here. And that will represent its last arm. I'm gonna start with my eyebrow lifted just to pull that skin back so I have a very flat eyelid. I'm actually not mad at this at all. Now it's time to go in with our glitters because that's always so fun to do. And then taking a brush and some NYX glitter and gold. And under my eyes, I'm going in with some real gar, this nice orange. And then I'm taking my pencil brush and smudging it in a bit. So I'm just dragging some yellow down. I love just when you drag the colors down. I think that's so pretty. And then I'm using a Lancome white, um, not concealer, mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Two face better than sex mascara, top and bottom lashes. fluffy brush I'm using the eyeshadow cherry cordial from the Too Faced palette and just gonna just bronze our cheeks up a little and then I'm cutting that out a little bit with some powder and then back in with this brush I'm taking my Beauty Bakery palette and the shade Warm cocoa, which is this dark burgundy color. I also use that over my cheekbone. Taking my blush brush, I'm going in with my Lancome blush and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Taking this kind of fluff brush, I'm gonna be taking some of the Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette and using that as a highlight. I feel like this look is still, you know, just missing some elements. So I'm gonna add some jewels to just highlight all the places. So I'm gonna put it on all the stars. Time for lips. I'm gonna use this M Cosmetic Orange and I'm putting that in the center of my lip. Smudging that all in, nice pretty orange. And then I'm lining the rest with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, liquid lipstick and mod. I love this brown color. I wear this all the time, so you're probably gonna see this frequently. And then just highlight the middle of the lip with cream of that. There we go. I'm gonna finish this look off with some, not this, finish 
finishing look off with some setting spray. This is Scandinavia, the makeup finishing setting spray. So we're gonna spray our face with it. Not too much. We don't want the eyeliner to smoke, but just enough that everything will just stay, you know? Fun, right? Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Hamilton inspired makeup look. Not something you see very often for sure, but I love it so much because I love this musical so freaking much. So freaking much. I'm actually going to be seeing it in June with my aunt if the theaters reopen. I'm seeing it at Pantages. I'm, we still get to see it regardless. It just might take longer. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be so exciting because this has literally been a dream of mine. Like, I'm obsessed with Hamilton. You can ask anyone every year, Spotify, top listen thing, Hamilton, <laughs> um, then Nirvana. Like, even though I love Nirvana so much, so much, but Hamilton is slightly higher. That's how much I love Hamilton. It's changed my life. It's changed who I am as an individual, as a person. Lin Manuel Miranda, incredible. Moana is one of my favorite movies ever. That's what got me into Hamilton in the first place because Moana's music is beautiful and I feel like a princess when I'm listening to it. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. For any other looks, please comment them down below. If you like this video, please leave it a like. Please subscribe, guys. If you want to see more content like this, please, please leave a subscribe. And I guess until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.